Hello everybody, this Rhino video demo is based on the request of a viewer of this channel. Okay, let's start. The viewer would like to know whether is it is possible to build this kind of organic shape using Rhino 6. By looking at the form, we can ascertain that um, there are practically no sharp corners whatsoever and it's uh, fully soft and rounded. So I presume that for such forms, it is uh, best to approach it using the subdivision workflow. Okay. I reckon that I will start to build the form using uh, a mesh to create uh, this four-sided one first and then proceed to use that uh, Foresight that form as the basis to create uh, this other one. Okay, let me hide these two. I'm going to type the mesh box command and set the x count to one, the y count to one and the uh, Z count to 1 okay so let's uh, draw the mesh box here okay next thing I want to do is to extrude the details from the mesh box and to facilitate that uh, you might want to turn on the filter selection filter uh, to be able to select the sub components of a uh, mesh okay to do that you can click the sub objects and this will enable us to be able to select the faces edges and vertices of uh, the mesh okay so uh, let's select this and I want to give an extrusion of let's say uh, 7 so you can click on here and I'm going to type 7 press enter and let's do the same for the rest okay click here and as you can see it's a um, arrow pointing inward so you need to give a minus value okay and let's uh, repeat for this So we got that like the basic shape and let's extrude this okay and give it a value of seven as well okay maybe i will want to scale this down a little bit so uh, let's press and hold the shift key for proportional scaling and then uh, scale this down a little bit and these areas i would like to raise them up so you can click on these edges Press and hold the shift key to select them and then do not click on the dot okay click on the arrows to slightly raise up the, the form uh, by the side okay and I want to do the same for the bottom part something like that okay okay so this will form the the basic structure for our sub D okay but before we convert it to sub D I want to make a duplicate of this object and you notice that now I'm not able to like select the whole object okay to be able to select whole object you have to uh, deactivate the sub objects uh, selection on the selection filter okay then you select this and we want to make a copy of this so I'm going to uh, press the alt key make a copy of this thing okay great okay so now uh, let's uh, convert this to sub D okay so to do that just at the command prompt type to sub D okay uh, delete input uh, okay yes okay so we got this shape you see yeah so uh, this is the first shape that we have created and as you can see it's uh, quite easy so maybe we need to like scale it down a little bit to make it uh, match our requested form okay so I'm going to move this aside 
okay and then let's proceed to make the other uh, shape that was requested okay okay to do that uh, I will use this as the basis and let's make a duplicate of this so I'm going to press alt key and move this somewhere around here so basically what I want to do is to bridge this area with a uh, new uh, meshes okay so let's uh, turn on the start object selection again and we want to delete away uh, these faces so press delete okay and then what I'm going to do is I uh, create new faces that will bridge this okay if you are using uh, Rhino 7 the task is much easier via the bridging tool okay but as this is a uh, Rhino 6 uh, we have to do it in a manual manner so uh, at the command prompt type uh, 3d face and make sure that your object snaps the vertex mode is turned on because we want to be able to snap to the vertices of the mesh okay so make sure this is turned on and let's uh, create the faces okay with each four uh, click press enter okay Okay, we created this uh, bridge. Let's do the same for the other side. <coughs> and again, I will type 3D face and repeat the process again. Okay, we created our shape. Okay, and then um, let's join all these uh, meshes together by clicking the join. Select. Oh, sorry. You notice that now I'm not able to select uh, the objects as a whole. Okay, that's because uh, I need to deactivate the sub objects on the selection filter. Okay, so uh, let's select this. Click the join. Make sure that you're able to select all the polygons. Okay, so I think I've joined this already. Uh, this doesn't look right. It's okay. That's because uh, some of the normals has been flipped, but that will not affect our work whatsoever. So let's uh, rotate this. Okay, I'm going to rotate this thing. So something like that and now let's um, convert this to sub D okay so at a command prompt type to sub D enter yep we got our shape okay and if you want to make like a bit of uh, adjustment you might want to turn the points on and maybe these two part these two parts are too high up i want to select some of the points to you know bring them down a bit or make some fine adjustments okay before i convert uh, these stuffs to nerves okay so once these uh, stuff has been created and modified to your satisfaction we can start to convert them to nerves okay so conversion to nerves is uh executed by typing in the command prompt to nerves okay select this and this enter delete input okay yes okay now we have converted our stuff to nerves okay as you can see is really uh 
not very difficult to do. Okay, with that I come to the end of this uh, demonstration. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.